They can really give you a shot of momentum. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Clemson! And that one will put him up here in the second half. This receiver is dangerous because of what he can do after the catch. Once he has the football, he is so good at making defenders miss. You saw it on that play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish with a big play, a touchdown strike from the 46. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll go out of bounds at the 27-yard line, just couldn't quite shake free. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Leaves it with the back. Knocked down after getting six all the way out to the 34-yard line. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Wants to throw. It's Sanders. Back open in the middle. And they'll move the chains with the first down. But that might be it for the third quarter. All wide outs, no backs. Going up top on first down. It's complete to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Not sure exactly what went haywire there, but the timing was just off. And that's your job as a defense, right? You've got to find a way to disrupt the timing and jam wide receivers or get to the quarterback and make him feel uncomfortable. But you can't let that timing be easy and effortless. Nice job by the defense. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. And now it's fourth down. Well, this defense knew coming into this one, this offense would take shots. They know they have targets that can fly, can push down the field vertically. Nice job in coverage there. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Makes the catch, he's got enough. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And the Buffaloes have this offense rolling. He wants to throw it again. Looking down the middle. Got his man downfield. That's where they'll mark him down, but what a play there to pick up a first down. And the Buffaloes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten from the 13. DB's locked up tight on the receiver. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. 
It's really hard to dial up big completions vertically down the field. At this juncture in the game, it's the fourth quarter, and the defense is playing with extra DBs on the field. They know you're going to throw it. Ball falls incomplete. Give to the single back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And after that incompletion on third and long, because of where they are in the field and because they have a narrow lead, you'd expect this team to just go ahead, kick the field goal, and take the points. This kicker is going to need nerves of steel on this one. It is good! And we're all tied up. And who's in the mood for a dramatic finish, fellas? And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do. So tempo is going to be important. you got to go fast. you just got to make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, try to maximize this time, and get it a position to win. Wants to throw on first down. Spits it out to the back. Grabbed over the middle. It's Mafa. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. The They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Looking for a crease. It's Mafa. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. It's all tied up. This offensive line, they want the pressure. They want everything to go through them here. They're saying, look, let's just run the ball. Let's get this thing down closer and closer to the goal line. Let's bleed some clock and put ourselves in a position to win. Slides away. Oh, no, the ball popped out. This could change things. And what a fortuitous turn of events to get that football back. And that's exactly what this defense needed. They needed to have something positive. Give up some yardage. They've given up some plays. No big deal. Got right back in it on this drive with that big set. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence. And the officials will change the call. One back in the backfield and they'll give it to him. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Timeout called by the defense. 23 seconds left on the clock. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It's good. Easy call for the refs. They're celebrating on the sideline after taking the lead, but still time on the clock. That last field goal gave them a three-point lead. Now to see if they can cover the kickoff and keep them out of field goal range. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Now in the waning seconds, Jesse, you've put yourself in position to pull this one out. And there's a chance this may come down to... He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And he's got it inside the 15-yard line. Timeout is called. Clock stops. 13 seconds to go in the game. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. And they are coming out for what will be a huge field goal attempt. He got it. And they tie it up, fellas, here in the final second. 
And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. They'll put this one in play. First snap of the drive from the 25. Comes out throwing on first down. Going deep. Makes the grab inside the 30. Timeout on the field and four ticks left to go. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. And this will be for the game. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And now they take the lead. That was fun, and it was big time. And it is a confidence builder to come through waning moments and win a game like that. Confidence builder, dream maker, right? Those are the things you dreamed about in the backyard. 